When we're talking about music, we're talking about tension and release. This chord, G7, is something we meet quite often. And for a very long time, all I could play on this G7 was... Now, there's nothing wrong with the mono pentatonic or the blue scale. Now, the thing is, when we're talking about music, for me, it means to try and be as free as we can. So being limited to just that is not that cool. What we're gonna do right now is talk about a few really cool <laughs> devices and sounds that we can add to our vocabulary. One. This is G7 scale, also known as the mixolydian. It's oftentimes being underestimated because it's a beautiful, beautiful color. Listen. Uh, uh. So when I'm playing this scale, mixolydian scale, that you probably know, it's actually the same note, the white keys, if you will, of piano. It's a C major scale from G. So if I'm thinking about mixolydian, is Actually, just C major scale. Check this out. Right, so when I have this scale, I do want to hear it so from the point of view of G, and that's very important. Now, oftentimes people kind of disregard it a little bit and kind of say, ah, it's just kind of like a plain scale, but actually, there's a lot to it. I'm trying to make some use with it. So even just playing a little line, right, you can still hear the scale is beautiful and you can articulate G7 in a very clear way. Oh, if you're feeling this video and this is helpful, it would mean a lot if you can click the like button, maybe drop a comment and even subscribe to the channel that will support a lot. So thank you. The next one is the major pentatonic. Check this out. Same thing as the minor pentatonic or the mixolydian scale. We want to hear it in a clear way. So this is the fingering that I'm going to start with here. And the same way I'm hearing G. So as our center. And that's very, very important. We want to feel each one of the notes. So. So it's one, two, three, five, six, one. If we're hearing the center in a clear way, we can start making music with it. Now these are the colors that you might know, but let's check out the colors that are less clear. Please stick around because at the end I'm going to talk about super important colors that you don't want to miss. This one is Mixolydian sharp four. Question, who are the most interesting guitar players these days? Please drop a comment. I want to check new guitar players and new artists, so please drop some comments with links and I'll check it out. Thank you. Let's hear it one more time. So, Although it sounds complicated, if you know your minor keys, for example, this scale is actually D melodic minor. Now, if you have never worked on it, it's totally fine. I would give a PDF with all these uh, fingerings for these sounds and colors with G7. You can start slowly but truly kind of um, bring another color into your world. Diminished. So this is a really, really harsh and beautiful sound. Check this out. Now this is being used a lot in jazz, and not just in jazz, but what we really want to take from the scale is the color and understand the tensions. At the end of the day, all these ex explorations is kind of hearing one center, in this case G, and figuring out all the colors around it. And 
these scales are basically organizing different sound colors for us. When we're talking about the diminished scale, it's extremely important to understand what's happening there because a lot of times people kind of just kind of skip that a little bit and think it's fine and can just play the fingers, but no. We really want to understand what's happening there. So we have sol, one, the flat nine, sharp nine, the three, flat five, the five, the six, which is a big deal, flat seven, the F and G. So let's hear it one time the two octave scale here. Here on the groove, just playing the scale. But what happens if I combine that maybe with a little major pentatonic? And then, right, even just that little line basically hitting that. Da -do -da 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 the sharp nine to the flat nine, right? That's, for me, this is a part of this diminished color, and then I can go another place. The thing is that we wanna have options and we wanna expand our freedom so we can hear things, we can improvise, and we can write cool music. And I think a lot of times when we just know one scale, like the pentatonic or, you know, the mixolydian, it's not really enough to be fully creative. Again, to each his own, but for me, understanding these colors is super, super helpful. Another beautiful, beautiful color that we want to know is the altered scale. Check this out. Now, let's slow it down for a second so we can really hear it. Let's hear it against the G. Let's slow it down and hear it against the G. So, when we're thinking about the altered, these are the extension that we're getting. Flat nine, sharp nine, nine, flat five, flat six, flat seven, and one. So it's not too far from the diminished, it's not the same scale, but it's we're getting really, really beautiful, beautiful extensions here. And if you want to think about the fingerings, I'll of course give the fingerings in the PDF, but also this is actually the same idea with the melodic minor. So this fingering for G altered scale is actually the same notes, right, as A flat minor, uh, A flat melodic minor. So if you know your melodic minor, you'll be fine. And again, I'll add that thing, that PDF there, so you can work on that as well. So what I'm doing when I'm thinking about this color, I'm hearing the G and I'm hearing all these notes against it as colors against the center, which brings me to the last point. This might be the most important one. We talk about color, we talk about a center like G7. I can hear each one of the notes as an option. There are no wrong notes, just amount of tension. this one but if I'm accepting the flat nine accepting the harshness of it or the sharp nine it's gonna sound cool it could be still major pentatonic or Right, then flat nine. So, what I want us to take from this video is really understanding that all options are valid and we want to try and memorize, we want to try and sing these colors, we want to understand what we're doing, but we also want to understand the different palettes, the different fingerings for these different options that I gave you, the major pentatonic, the minor pentatonic, the diminished, the altered. Even if you know it in one area of the guitar, it's a great start. 
Thank you so much for listening. I hope it was fun and I'll see you next week. Peace. Thank you.